Plus, and good evening, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the latest edition of the Royal Takers. Our running Royals unfortunately fell 3-2 to two in overtime on the final game of this weekend. But guess what? They did still take 5 out of 6 points, beating Adirondack 5-2, to two, where Jackson Kresge showed them who's boss, who also got a goal today, who was able to get a fight. And also, of course, Potty Cole to round out the weekend. And then they had a very good defensive-oriented 2-1 to one win against one of the best offenses in hockey in the trois Riviere Lions. And again, held them to only two regulation goals against one of the best offenses in hockey. Karu Usti Ustamenko played a fantastic game today, especially early on, uh, to keep the Royals in this game where they really didn't get off to a great start um, early. And in periods of that second period, they... Early on as well, in periods of that second period, they were giving up too many chances uh, for the Trois-Rivières Lions, but Usti stepped up to be able to give them the opportunity to get to the jackson Cressy goal that he was then able to tie it up on um, in that second period at 12.47. If it wasn't for Caruso Domenko's play in the first period and in the second period, first and foremost, the Reading Royals never would have been able to get to the goal where jackson Cressy was able to have a beautiful move shorthanded to then be able to tie it up with, of course, their other goal uh, being the Dominic Cormier goal that Jacob Pritchard in his first game back had an assist on where they tried to get it back to Pritch, couldn't get it back to him. Cormier gets it back and is able to shoot it in. Kenny Halsinger, who's playing like a bat out of hell, also got into a scrum, um, was able to get an assist on that goal as well. I love watching the Lions and Royals games because even though this is the first season for Trois Rivia, you can tell how much hatred and how much rival there is between these two teams already. There's always fights. There's always scrapping. Hell, there was a fight with Cockrell as soon as he got out of the damn penalty box. Um, so there's always scrapping. There's always fighting with these teams. Great win on Saturday. Great win on Friday. Unfortunately, an overtime loss. But the Royals still claim a point, which obviously helps out all the Murray in the standing. Um, as well, so at least they're able to get a point, which is really what you need to do. Obviously, you always want to try to walk away with a win, but if you can't walk away with the win, the second best thing in hockey is to get it at least to overtime so you can get a point, and that's what our Reading Royals did in no small part due to Kirill Usti Ustamenko playing fantastic, Jackson Cressy continuing his fantastic play, and then also Dominic Cormier is continuing to play like, if not the best, one of the best defense on the team. The way he's so efficient at sliding the point, finding a way to get shots through, moving up um, as a defenseman is really impressive to watch. And he continues to do that, and he seems to continue to become more comfortable as time goes on, too, which is only making him more dangerous for the uh, against the other team and more dangerous for us in our favor to watch his fans. So Dominic Cormier is a guy that's going to be continue to be very impressive and a guy that I'm going to continue really enjoy watching. Um, th this was kind of just one of those games to me. Uh, the shots were even two two in OT. We could have won this game just as well as the um, the Trois Rivière Lions. Uh, they had a couple nice saves made by Barube, just as Cruz Domenko stepped up and made save a uh, 37 to 32 on the shots. It was a good goaltender game, and it was just a battle of. It seemed like the teams were tiring late because both traveled in Friday night, had three in a row games, so it looked like they were tiring late. And the game was really whoever the heck was going to get that third goal and whoever was going to be able to chip it in was going to win, and that's exactly what happened. As it was a battle to the end, a goal got to the end with a lot of scraps, a lot of fighting and a lot of good hockey, and a lot of solid um, play that kept the teams to the outside for the most part. The one goal, obviously, that Reading, I think, would like to have back is when they did um, allow William LeBlanc um, to get it in the center when he was able to kind of lose it while trying to make a play, get it back, and then score there. I think they would want to go at the center of the ice better there. But the other goal by Alex Dalst was just a ridiculous wrister that uh, you really can't do anything about. But this has been a quick recap of not just today's game, but also the weekend as a whole, where Reading, led by Jackson Cressy a lot in that game too, setting the tempo with a fight and obviously getting assists, um, if I remember correctly, in that game as well, and then ending it out on the weekend with a goal um, as well, playing a hell of a weekend for Jackson Cressy. They got five out of six points, so it would have been great to obviously be able to get the win this Sunday, but they walk away with a point, losing 3-2 to in overtime in a game that was a battle to the death for the third goal. Each team was very tired. It was whoever got the third goal won. And unfortunately, that ended up being Trois Riviere. But the Royals are trending in the right direction. They're still in second place due to point percentage, but they're one of the best teams in the league, one of the best teams in the North Division. And um, we're eventually going to pull just like they are with the rest of the North Division, in my mind, ahead of Trois Riviere and be above 500 just against them as they are against every other team in the North Division in their history. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And please continue to subscribe down below. Or above on the easy-to-use widget, um, our Reading Royals. 
will be back on the ice next Friday, January 28th, um, against the Anner Ron Deck Thunder. So I hope everybody has a great, safe, and pleasant week. Stay safe out there and enjoy the rest of the hockey that you're going to watch during this week. Peace out and go Royals.